thanks for being here. This is your very first time here. Very first time on Ellen. Thank because you so much, Because you've spent Ellen. a lot of time uh, out of the country, I bet. Yes, yes. I live in London. So, yeah. Yeah, oh, you yeah. do? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you from, uh, really, mainly from Game of Thrones and uh, as the person who had the, the little... Thing. Todger. Yeah. Todger chopped off. Yeah, yeah. the thing, yep. Yeah. Is that what yeah. it's called? Todger, yeah. The Todger was chopped off. Me Todger. Now, when you read the script and they are going to chop off the Todger, um, <laughs> yeah. what do you think about that? I mean, um, it, I remember when it happened, the kind of read-through came through. And uh, I think there was only read-throughs kind of in the first two or three seasons of Thrones, and then after that, we didn't do them much more. But it was great. I was just happy to be given the opportunity to tackle something so, um, so, so interesting. Right, yes. Yeah. That's a good way to look at it. Mm -hmm. um, now, what was it like? Did you know any of those people? What was it like when you met that entire cast? Um, it, was, uh, it was funny. I think the first time we all kind of met each other and had a big dinner together was it was coming up to Halloween, actually, I think. And so I presumed that everybody was going to come dressed. Uh, it was the first time we'd all met each other. So I assumed that everybody was going to come dressed in Halloween outfits. So I turned up with these people that I'm going to work for for about eight years with, um, dressed as Jason for mm -hmm. Friday the 13th, in uh -huh. a hockey mask and mm -hmm. a plastic knife coming out of my ribs. So I see. They loved me from, from day one. Uh-huh. <laughs> maybe that's when they decided to cut the tie drop. Maybe, maybe, yes. maybe, maybe. He's the guy. Um, and you nominated yourself for an Emmy. I did. I submitted <laughs> myself, yeah. It was, it was crazy. Um, yeah, it was, it was, uh, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Number, <laughs> one person. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was, it was rather odd um, having to, uh, I mean, I, it was like a ten-minute deadline that I had to submit myself for. And so, I think when I heard about the actual nomination coming through, I was in a shop in the West End, and um, I thought it was like a group nomination for Best Drama or something. Yeah. And my agent said, no, it's an individual one See? for you, so... Had you not submitted? You, you wouldn't have been nominated. Dreams come true. Yes, you this made it. You made it come through. Mm. All right, and you have a, the cutest little dog. I saw a picture. I was going through all the pictures of your life today, because that's what I do. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's this dog's name? Uh, his name is Atta. And I mean, what a beautiful color that little French bulldog is. He's a gorgeous boy. He's yeah. a gorgeous boy. He's got the same, um, same birthday as my daughter. Oh, really? Yeah. And so how old is your daughter, and how old is he? Uh, my daughter's one, and he is two. Oh, well, happy yeah. birthday to both of them. Thank you. And do you celebrate you. Uh, both birthdays or do you ig ignore the dog? I ignore the dog. I ignore the dog. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we just do FaceTimes because he's back in London and I'm, I'm back here. So well, FaceTimes with the dog for his birthday. He gets a right treat. Does he, does he understand when you're doing FaceTime? Does the dog actually see you on there? Yeah, there's like, I think they have these, um, like, you know, these kind of doggy hotels that they have. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I, I, I oh, put them up where one of those, and it's like a 24-hour yes. kind of feed. So oh. it's not really a FaceTime. Not I was really, no. I a bit then. I was making myself look, look right. nice. Yeah. yeah. You're just watching him on a camera that he is, and he's in a room. Yeah, he can hear me, though. Right. I yeah, he, I can't hear him, but he can hear me. Right, because I've tried to FaceTime with my animals when I'm here, and my animals are in Montecito. And they don't really fully understand. What kind of dogs have you got? What but, animals have you got, sorry? Oh, we've got a lot. I don't have time. OK. Um, <laughs> But while you're here, there's some available right down the street, and I'll tell you about Amazing. it. Amazing. Rescue yes. dogs. Yes, yes, lovely, lovely. Swing by, because there's a drive through window. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about Jojo Rabbit. It is a very interesting concept. Uh, I, t explain what this is. Um, so it's uh, a story, essentially, about a single mother who's trying to raise her boy in, um, in, a, in a kind of horrific situation. I mean, it's kind of a universal theme. Single mothers trying to raise their kids, um, but this is set against the backdrop of Nazi Germany. And um, really, it's uh, her son has been kind of brainwashed by these um, people with their sort of their, their crazy political beliefs. And so she tries to show him what it means to be kind of human and to empathize and, and to love, because that's yeah. what makes us human. Yes, that's a, that's a great way to put it. That's yeah. what it is. Um, Jojo Rabbit is in Select Theaters Friday, and uh, we'll be right back.